Hey you guys, it's Lauren and I'm here today to show you my technique for organic texture using braids. For this look, I used Alterna CC Cream and Biolage Raw Texturizing Spray to prep the hair. Start by working with the natural parting at the crown. At the top back of the crown, using a tail comb, work towards the bottom nape with a zigzag section. Pull apart the hair from either side of the tail comb and clip away one side. On either side, begin by combing the hair away from the face. Make a parting from the back high point of the head diagonally down to the hairline in front of the ear. Start the braid by using your fingers to divide the subsection into three equal sections. Like a traditional braid, cross the right strand under the middle strand and then the left strand under the middle strand. Then as you pick up the right strand again to take under the middle strand, keep this strand in between two fingers. Using your opposite hand, guide the hair from the outside of the section under the strand to the middle section that's between your two fingers and smooth the hair through. Continue working back and forth from left to right in the same manner until you reach the nape. Try not to fuss about the braid being perfect. The biggest thing is that you want to be sure that you are smoothing the hair as you work through the braid so your final look is not frizzy. If you are more comfortable, you can use a French braiding technique instead of a Dutch braiding technique. If either technique is too challenging, just use a traditional three-strand braiding technique. The end result will vary slightly depending on which technique you use. As you get towards the bottom and there is no remaining hair to add in, finish out the braid like a traditional braid and tie with an elastic. If your hair is layered, some of the pieces may poke out at the bottom, but don't worry, that's okay. Using your thumbs and index fingers starting at the bottom, pull on the outside strands of the braid to start to deconstruct. This technique will help to prevent the braids from setting too tight. Also use this technique along the front hairline and top crown to keep fullness and volume. Repeat these steps on the opposite side. Then let the braids set overnight or while you're out running errands. After the braids have set, take the elastics out. Using your fingers, loosen up the braid at the bottom, still keeping the braid intact. Then using a flat iron on a low heat, smooth over the ends of the braid and repeat on the opposite side. This will help to really reinforce the structure of the braid and also smooth out any unwanted frizz. I start to work the hair out of the braids by using a cocktail of new styling clay and new repair argan oil. I smooth the product over the ends of the braids and slowly start to pull apart the strands, adding more product in my hands as necessary. Working the product through the hair in this manner will help to maintain the shape of the hair and prevent it from getting frizzy. Repeat these steps on the opposite side. When you finish working the product through the hair, you can use a flat iron to help smooth out any unwanted wave at the scalp. Try not to disrupt the shape by combing through the ends of the hair. And here we are with the finished look. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click on the link to subscribe.